you allowed to eat bacon? Oh, I wasn't eating. I was testing. What? It's how you cook. All right. Just saying. Okay, just responding. You still have time for breakfast. Oh, that's not breakfast. That is a heart attack with toast. Fine, but a shake is not going to be enough to get you to lunch. I don't care. Okay, I have a great idea. How about you not tell me what to put in my body and I'll just ignore what goes into yours? So, uh, how's the team shaking up, kiddo? Oh, it's awesome. Hey, by the way, I can't go to a movie with you guys this weekend. I have a Saturday practice and then I double shift at work. Honey, I wish you would slow down soon. High school's over in a blink. Some of your best years ever, and you're working too hard to even notice. Well, I don't have a choice if I want to afford college. Okay, we gotta go. Adam, my hat. Hey, Bob Pace, why are you such a jerk to her lady? Why is you not a jerk to her? Why do you always take her side? Ooh, let's see, she gave me life, you give me wedgies. You do the math. Oh wait, you can't do math. I forgot. Sucker! Hey, Alan! Oh, jeez! I got some of your mail in my mailbox again. I think it's college stuff. What? Can you stop bringing your work home? You're gonna give me a coronary. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, it's a new gig. Tell me it's not the best work I've ever done. Huh? Hey, wait, wait, check out the tongue I made. That's a genius, huh? Huh? That's a yes, right? Our air, our lakes, our land, and now ourselves. When it comes to pollution, no one is safe. So it's up to all of us to get involved. Nice work, ladies. Wow, you're a killer combo. Okay, next assignment is on Monday. It's on the class website, My Budding Spurlocks. Meanwhile, uh, relax. This is strictly voluntary. There is a great student documentary competition this year, all about life in high school today. But you get to pick your angle. Nice work today, guys. I really like what I'm seeing. Have these in by the end of the month. Really nice. Really nice. Hey, seriously consider this, Allie. Nice work. Thanks. Oh, hey, Allie. Hey, wait up. Have you wrote Johnston's handout? Uh-uh, he lost me at voluntary. I'm already on a work overload. Yeah. Hey, what do you think about state? Uh, I don't know why. There's probably a million other colleges just like that. Not one with a great softball team that will take my SAT scores. Softball scholarships are handed out junior year, and I'm dead without one. Mm -hmm. Exactly why you should read Johnston's handout. Listen. Third annual statewide competition for student films investigating the unique challenges of high school life today in a documentary form. What's your point? We could totally win this. Your ideas, my tech, we're gold together. It's seriously a lock. No, it's a lottery. It's also a $10,000 prize. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. You can have it. I don't need the tuition. What I need is a shot at film school after grad, and winning this would totally get me in. Okay, why are all the science teachers gross? Seriously, it's a good thing. I don't know. Come on, I need a beverage before I can taste my Allie! contest. I know. I'm this close to a softball scholarship. I can't split my focus now. I'm sorry. Miss Pigamook? So, Michael's been asking about you. No, he hasn't. Yeah, I'm totally lying. And he's not fully checking you out as we speak either. 120. 120 wood. All right, enough. Stop. Put me out of my misery. Allison, Kendall, need a word. Listen, I sent you tapes out. I just heard back from a scout at State. And? And he's coming to see both you play on Friday. <laughs> oh, my God! I gotta go tell Mike Nettie. Okay. All right, Allison, just so you know, you're the one they're really excited about. And I told me, if you impress them on Friday, we'll talk a full round. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I will not let you down. I promise. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, okay. I got one. Stop we it. call Adam with a can of beans. Uh, Quit no. it! <laughs> Pork and beans. Good one, man. So, um, Einstein called. He wants his brain back. Yeah, well, back called. He wants his hat back. Come on, Mom. Give me that. Give me that. Hey, big squad. Knock it off. You knock it off. Oh, excellent comeback. You know, I bet all the pretty girls are just all over you, stud. Holy. <sighs> Whatever. Like you know. Lead a fat boy. Hello, you're welcome. Wow, thanks, because nothing makes you look cooler when you got your big sister fighting your battles. Well, I wouldn't have to if you started fighting them yourself. <sighs> I mean, gosh, why, why do you take that crap? Where's your pride? Hmm, let me check the locker they stuffed me in today. Maybe I left it in there. You know, I could talk to the principal. He might love his mate. News flash, the whole world loves you, Allie. Yay you, OK? Just drop it. You'll only make it worse. No one arcing to mom, promise? Yes, I promise. OK. Let's just go inside. But I love you. I have been dreaming of this moment ever since the first time I took you out back to play catch. Boy, I mean, a full ride to college. I am very proud of you, Al. Hey, Dad, I actually have to get it first, remember? Have you seen yourself play? Formality. I am calling your cousins. We're going to have a huge alley cheering section so the scout can hear how great you are. No, don't do that. That'll totally freak me out. Close your eyes. Oh, I got something to celebrate. Oh, yes, awesome. You officially don't suck today, Al. Uh, Mom, you know I'm on a strict diet during the season. Come on, I can't eat that. Honey, most girls would kill to look like you. You can cheat a little. Hey, can we ever just eat in this house? I think you need to look up the difference between self-control and self-deprivation. Well, I think you need to admit that you brought that home for you and not me. Maybe you need to be less suspicious and more gracious. I think your diet's making you cranky. Well, if it's for me, I guess I'll just take it to work for an impromptu party oh, there. Oh, no, 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 no. Things are going horribly wrong. Hey, hey where, where is my lucky hat? You wore it to school today. Um, actually, I borrowed it. It's probably in my locker. I gotta go to work. All right, you keep it, okay? It'll bring you luck tomorrow for the game. Do you know the bed mass rule? Okay, if I knew that, do you think I'd be working here still? Seriously, come on. Hi, what are you doing here? Prison break. I heard this room you're stuck here all night fitting people with ugly shoes. Is that true? Yeah, kinda. Oh, that's gotta stop. Come on, I'm busting you out. I, I can't, I'm still working for another 25 minutes. Hey, you were a senior last year, right? You remember me? Yeah, of course. Randall, Randy, are you familiar with the overall concept of karma? How would you give the nice girl a measly half hour? Come on, be a dude. Uh, yeah, we could we could do that. Um, I'll I'll just cash you out. It's slow anyway, so. Thanks. I can't believe you got me out of work. I mean, what would you have done if he said no? I didn't really plan that far. So, um, you're going to state in the fall, right? Yep. Full ride. Thank God. Hey, Kendall told me about that scout coming for you guys. It's awesome. And I was nervous as hell when they came last year. I totally puked in my helmet. Hmm. Any advice that doesn't involve helmet pukage? Yeah. Just forget about how bad you need it. I mean, Eddie and Kendall, they have an advantage because they don't need scholarships like we do. But just think about the game and not the stakes. So basically forget that I've worked towards this moment my entire athletic career. Basically, yeah. Hey, I'd like to come watch you play. Does that freak you out? No, no, that's cool. It's a free country. <laughs> That's your scout. Are you kidding me or what? So go. Look, I'm not stopping. Missing pool to go watch the girls play ball. Man, you got a bad.
fracture. No extrusion of the bone. I think we can avoid a surgical solution. Okay, but what does that mean in English? Please tell me I didn't lose the season. Well, I think right now you need to focus on the positive. You should be able to play again by next season. Should? Should? Is there anything else you can do? Surgery? Something? I don't care. It'll take the next eight weeks to heal. Some intensive physical therapy afterwards. That's all we can do. Oh, honey, I am so sorry. better now. I can totally play in the last game. Allie. Oh, come on. I can do this. I earned my shot. You know that I worked so Allison. hard this year. Well, can you just buy me a chance? Can you call the scout back? Allie, I did. Everyone has made their scholarship offers by now. You know that. Kemmel got her from state a month ago. She doesn't even need it. Look, you can always walk on somewhere. You get into school, try it for the team. Not if I can't afford to go. A sports scholarship was my only shot. Please, I, I need this. I need it. dropped your, um, snout. Thank you. Whoa. What? I know about faces. This is not a happy face. You want to talk about it? I'm kind of trying to avoid talking about it. That's why I'm out here. Well, if there's anything I can do to help you, let me know. Yeah? Okay. This can't be good. Hey, pal. New look? Don't want to talk about it. How was your day? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, then. Glad we could have this little chat. You know, if you'd stop being a smart-ass sarcasmo, maybe those bullies would let you keep your shoes. Like what I say has anything to do with it. Why wouldn't it? Some... Kids know they don't like me before I even open my mouth. They know a fat door from a mile away. So you're telling me you have zero responsibility for the way people treat you? Come on, Adam, people are like mirrors. They give back what you put out. You really think you're popular because you're so much nicer than all the other girls? You don't think being a skinny, pretty jock has anything to do with it? Hey, I'm just trying to help. That's like tutoring me in math. How can you help me with something you obviously don't understand? Oh, this day blows. You know, I was thinking maybe we should take a girls' weekend. Go see Grandma. Have some fun like we used to. It might make you feel better. You know, there used to be a time when you actually thought I had some pretty smart stuff to say when you had problems. I wish you'd talk to me. Yeah, you also wish we had more money. You wish I didn't have to work so hard. I just wish you'd stop pretending this has nothing to do with you. 
You know, I've never once heard you say I'm sorry for what happened back then. Allison, I'm not going to apologize for getting sick. You didn't get sick. You made yourself sick. You know, you're going to have to grow up one day and stop punishing me. Fine, just pick a day when I'm not actually the one being punished. Allie, I know you need somebody to blame right now, so why don't you just blame me? Why? She's the one that racked up the hospital bills and went through the college fund and... Allie, enough. Why do you always protect her? Why am I never allowed to say the truth? You know, because the truth is nowhere near as simple as you think it should be. I'm trying to take it easy on your mother, okay? You serious? Because we've already lost time. If we do this, thanks. We need an angle that stands out. Something sexy. I've got one. Fat like me. Huh? Okay, do you remember Black Like Me, where that guy went undercover investigating racism? Vaguely. Okay, well, they've done it with race, they've done it with gender, but no one's gone undercover on weight yet. It's our unique take. Okay, listen to this. You know how everyone's always talking about the obesity epidemic with kids, mm -hmm. right? But it's always doctors, experts, outsiders looking in. This movie would make everyone insiders. Because how can you fix what you don't understand? Starring who? Me. Hi. Have you seen you? You're like baseball bombshell over here. Hey, softball. Whatever. Point is, you're not exactly the poster child for teen chubbies. What if there was a way I could be both? What if that was our angle? I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, I may have started that rumor, but still. You know, this project's supposed to say something about high school life. Uh, how are we gonna do that with the year almost over? Summer school. Not that I lost my sports scholarship, I'm gonna need to pick up the extra grade. Ew. <laughs> Summer school? <laughs> Talk about taking it for the team. Of course, none of this actually counts unless it's... <clears throat> Flawless. So, what do you think? Oh, sweet man. Fanny, I'm good. I think we might actually pull this off. Wow. Where did I go? Gotta admit, this is a pretty genius idea. What made you think of it? Well, I guess I was just sick of hearing, you're not fat and you don't understand. Mm. You know, take my little brother, for instance. He's like the greatest kid in the world, but he's letting weight just run his life. He thinks being overweight equals being unpopular. He doesn't even try. Well, he's kind of got a point there, bud. Look, half my family is big, okay? I have a pretty good perspective on this. I hate to say it, but sometimes I think bigger people use their weight as an excuse for practically everything. Yeah, you don't sound biased at all. We'll find out, won't we? God, think of how great a sociological experiment this is going to be. 
change my look, but not my personality or behavior. If I'm right, eventually I wear them down. If my brother's right, I guess I don't stand a chance. We just have to sit back and get it on camera. Check these babies. This is for your video diaries and goes in your backpack for your rear view. And this sweet little baby is your main camera, micro digicam, and the nose piece of these glasses. Are you CIA? Where'd you get this stuff? My parents are very loaded and very divorcing. Let's just say parental guilt can be lucrative. Must be nice to be rich. Must be nice to be a junior prom queen. Oh, wait, that was Kendall. You were runner up. I forgot. Here, uh, summer school courses at Lucas Valley High. Why Lucas Valley High? We can't do this at our own school. If you're recognized, we're done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The only one I haven't taken on here is AP Biology. Mm, there's chemistry. That's like math with beakers. This is gonna go on my record. You work that hard for your sports scholarship, right? You're the one who said this is your last chance. Here goes. <sighs> Video diary, day one. Is it weird that I'm a little excited about this? I mean, who gets the chance to truly be someone else for a while? Allison? Honey, what are you doing up so early? Summer school doesn't start for hours. Uh... Well, what did you tell her? That I'm jogging every morning to strengthen my leg. Why didn't you just tell her the truth? Well, let's see. I'm prancing around in a fat suit. She says she might not take it the right way. Good morning! Excuse me. Thanks. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, groceries! Sorry. Hi. Hi. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Hi. <laughs> Janie. FYI, buses, not for big people. You remember your goals, right? Yes. Phase one, interact with as many social groups as possible, record the reaction. Phase two, try to win them over. Yeah, yeah. Got you something special for lunch. See how people react. And try to sit for cool girls, too, okay? But I'm new. How am I supposed to know who the cool girls are? Please, popular girls are always the same. Long hair, short skirts, air of entitlement. Anyways, you'll know your own kind. I'm glad to know you don't stereotype. Well, right now, you've left all your old stereotypes behind. I've done without them. Don't forget your lunch. Have fun. Sorry, I'm late. I usually make a much better first impression. Simon. Hey, cool shirt. Long hair, short skirt, sense of entitlement. Bingo. Oh, oops. 
sorry. Jeez. Sorry. Yeah, you Yeah. Those food is really scary in the cafeteria, huh? I'm so glad I brown bagged. Do you guys mind if I sit with you? Whatever. Guys, let's go. No, really. Thank you. Nice meeting you too. Okay. Great for our film. I mean, everyone was a walking cliche. Really? Yeah. They were all mean to the new fat girl. People mood. I mean, who does that? You know what? No one makes friends on the first day. Tomorrow's gonna be better. Only if you're right. I am. Personality and persistence will trump pounds. I promise you. I gotta go. Bye. Mom? You know, I could cut you up some fresh veggies and dip if you want. It's Pizza Monday. You do not blaspheme Pizza Monday. Is that a poem? Maybe. Your beauty rules. Okay, okay, it's a poem. Don't make a big deal. It's just something I wrote for someone. Is it for a girl? Megan. Her name is Meg. Come on, tell me what she said, Romeo. Yeah, right. Like, I'm really gonna give it to her. So each unit is equally important for a properly formed and functioning organism. So you've got your large appearance paired along with the molecularly smaller pyramidines along the double helix. It's really important that these building blocks associate in a particular way. So the nucleotide for the guanine pairing would be what? Ah, so clearly cytosine would be paired with it in the DNA chain. Allison, can you pass out the test schedules, please? Boom, boom, boom. You know what they say about guys with big mouths? They're very small everywhere else. <laughs> Shut up. Test on Monday, people. Don't forget to know your adaptive radiation chronology. Uh, there is no way that that woman is speaking English. Yeah, brutal, isn't it? Hey, you know, I could use a study buddy. I, I'm such a clutch. I swear I don't know my ass from my ass lately. <laughs> I'm George. I'm Allie. That's Ramona. Hi. I heard what you said about a study group. We're studying Friday, if you want. Yes, I would love It'll to. It'll cost you a round of cheese fries. Yes. I, I, I should be playing it more cool, huh? Hey, hey, we're talking cheese fries. Excitement is due. So we'll, we'll see you Friday? Yes.
impressions. I'm just gonna say it. I hate being fat. I hate my fat hands, I hate my fat face. I, you know what? Mostly I hate all the big fat attitudes of everyone around me. Oh, I can't stand the thought of being in that stupid suit one more damn day. It's like, it's like me giving permission to everyone to treat me like crap. Busted. What are you even doing here? This isn't your school. Is it yours? I'm teaching a summer class. I have a legitimate reason to be here, which is more than I can say for you. Okay. First of all, let's not overreact. I mean, what's so wrong with wearing a lot of makeup and a few extra layers? Okay, hidden cameras are less good. You know, this isn't fair. You're not even supposed to be here. And you started this whole thing by telling us about the scholarship. I am only doing what you have asked us to do all year. Wearing foam. No, finding a story that needs to be told and going after it with everything we have. Okay, what's your story? I don't, I don't really know yet. Look, I started to get that scholarship, but, but it's raising all these questions about weight and identity and... I, I just think people will want the answers if you just give me a chance. Okay. Okay, okay. Do we really need to stand here and debate the meaning of okay? No, no, sorry. Thank you. Well, thank me by taking this seriously and giving it a real shot. And I want to see the final product before I sign off on it. So we're cool? He's down with it? Not only is he down with it, he wants to be all mentory and advise us. Well, you know, I really did mean what I said to him. I think we're really onto something with this documentary. I, uh, so, George. how does the footage look? Uh, Fat girl and geek boy. Discuss. Why? I thought you only cared about the supposed cool people. Well, I did until you handed us these two. They're cherry. Pathetic. Empathetic. She's fat. He's fat adjacent. Hey, stop. Seriously, they were the only ones that were really nice to me. Exactly, we could totally use that. I mean, as much as I love our gimmick, you're still just a pretty girl in a fat suit. Really cares if your feelings get hurt. No offense. I'm sure. So what's your point? You really want this to mean something? Find out what it's like when the suit doesn't come off. You need to tell that side too. Uh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, take that shot. Take it. Oh, Get him, get him. Uh, here. Go. Here. Oh. 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 No, 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 no. Uh, nice. Oh. nice shot, nice shot. Uh. I need a break from all of you. So, Joel. Oh. Yeah? I heard that you were getting shaggy with Darcy at Lawson's party. Ooh, avoid that Darcy chick. She's a future fatty. You ever seen her mom? Back me up on this one, Michael. Yeah, dude, she totally tanked the mom test. Sorry. Wait, the what? Ah, uh, it's a guy thing. It's... Stupid, though. No, it's a lot of freaking genius. You want to know what the girl's gonna look like in 10 years? You check out the mom. <laughs> I got one. I got one. How is a wedding ring like a ripcord? As soon as you put one on a girl's finger. Oh, my God. God, you're such a jerk. Well, like you have to worry. I totally do your mom. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, my God. You losers. You wish. I, I wish. Um, a little bit of a jerk, huh? Yeah, he means well. It's not really his fault. It's concussions. <laughs> wow. You totally weren't expecting that, were you? No, 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 it was fine. I was. <laughs> I just completely freaked you out, didn't I? No, no, it was, it was cool. It was great. Yeah, I did. <laughs> You're kind of adorable right now. Great. I was um, kind of shooting for sexy. Well, you overshot. Yeah, I'm sure that I did. <laughs> Come on, Miss Adorably Sexy. I'll walk you. Okay. You weren't like I thought you'd be. In a good way. Pretty girls aren't usually so not insane. <laughs> Thanks. 
So you judge a lot of stuff by looks, huh? <laughs> well, I meant it as a compliment. You know what else I like about you? You're not fake. No BS. You really know who you are. And that's pretty sexy. Well, I guess here's where you invite me in and we make out furiously till we wear a hole in your couch. No, this is where you go. My parents will be here any second. Oh, that's no problem. I can wait. Parents like me. I've perfected the whole gentleman act. Have you? Mm -hmm. No, seriously, I really, there's somewhere I have to be. There's another guy, right? Is he bigger than me? What? No. Oh, so he's smaller than me. That's good. Th there's no guy. I just, I just have a thing I have to do. But you're not going to tell me what or with who? No. The mysterious secret life of Allison. Yes, you have no idea. Okay. You do your thing. Okay. But how about we hang out again tomorrow? And just the two of us this time. Okay. I like that. Oh, hey, by the way, the whole gentleman thing, it's not really an act. Just don't tell Eddie. OK. Is there any better proof of God than the cheese fries, I ask you? I'll pass that on to the Pope. Hey, what answer did you get for number 33? Mm. Um, Emily? Are you asking me or are you telling me? It's Emily's. Ramona's asking the stuff. Uh, I got a bull. I'm meeting the band. I'll see you in class. His ska band. You should go and see them sometime. They're awesome. Of course they're awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, why are you taking summer school? You're like a complete genius. I'm tired of the jerks. Just trying to fast track it into college. Hopefully there they at least judge you for your mind. Besides, I knew George was taking it and he's fun, so. Oh my God, you're totally in love with George. Shh, how did I miss that? I am not. Yeah, you are. I am not. <laughs> Besides, I don't think it matters anymore. I think he likes you. Not that I blame him, I mean, you're so pretty. I just wish I had your style. Are you serious? You know, I could totally help you with that. Why does that scare me? Clothing isn't fashion, it's armor. Because high school is war. You gotta wear something that makes you stand out, you know, it gives you confidence. This would look great on you. George would totally love you in it. I don't think anything in here is my size. That's because all your tops are six sizes too big. You gotta wear clothes, not hide in them. Look, fat stores sell fat clothes. You just need something cool. Will you just try on the biggest size before you say no? Okay. Okay. I think we have a friend. What, do they think anyone under 40 is a klepto? Seriously. Are you ladies shopping for yourselves today? Uh, yes. You may want to try the store for our big girls down the street. We don't have your sizes. I'll take that for you. Thank you. Come on. They wouldn't have been anyway. So, I, I was thinking maybe sometime the three of us could go to a movie. Or not if you're busy. You're probably busy. Are you gonna so... pretend like that didn't just happen to us? I'm going back in there. Please, don't. Just let it go. Your clothing in place, it works for all different types of fabrics. Hi, remember me? This may get a little awkward, so you might want to stand over there. I beg your pardon. Oh, good, because that's why I came back in here. You owe my friend an apology. OK, maybe you want to calm down. And maybe you need to eat some carbs. But unlike you, I'm not here to judge. OK, you know what, dear? I was just dealing with an actual customer, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Fine, then I'm going to have to ask for the name of your manager. And if she can't figure out a way to apologize, then I'll have to call your head office. And trust me, I will call. I may not be your target demographic, but I have friends and I have family that shop here. And believe me, I will tell them how you treated us. That'll do, Janine. I'm the manager. How may I help you ladies? Oh, that was like Richard Gere and Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. You know you just made yourself the hooker in that scenario? 
I just don't get it. How you have all this confidence? Like they haven't gotten to you. They? You know what I mean. It's like when I'm fat, I don't own my own body anymore. Everyone else has a right to an opinion on it. Like, what is that about? That's a good question. I was beginning to think you ate air. Come on. Like you don't have a secret stash of your own. Go ahead, help yourself. Um, I'm okay. And you know what else? I eat too much when I'm stressed and I hate exercise. But that's my problem. How did it become everyone else's? But what about all the health stuff? I mean, you know what they say that, that fat, I mean, that people like us cost the system. Ali, you really think teenagers moo at us because they're worried about the healthcare system? Yeah, that's a good point. You know, there is some truth to it. You know, my mom made herself sick six years ago. What happened? She's just always struggled with her weight, and I guess one day she just gave up. I mean, big time. Kept eating, kept gaining, got diabetes, didn't stop eating, was put on medical diets, didn't stop eating. I mean, she ended up in the hospital with a heart attack before she stopped. I'm sorry. How is she now? She's fine. 80 pounds lighter for now, but I just don't know if it's going to happen again. I hate living like that. You know, if her addiction was alcohol, I could... I could hate her for ruining her life or the family, but... What kind of girl are you if you hate your mom for being fat? I've been the fattest kid in class since grade school. Eighth grade graduation, they didn't have a gown to fit me. The only kiss I ever had, the boy was dared. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring all this no, up. No, it's okay. I need this. It's just... How are you supposed to feel like you're worth something when you're told 15 different times a day that you're not? I guess I never thought about it that way. I'm just saying, drunks don't have to drink to live, Allie. Your mom has to face food three times every day. So it's not easy. You know, it's really nice finally having someone to talk to who understands. idea how hard this fat suit thing was gonna be I mean what's the point of all this what am I trying to learn I still don't know how Ramona and Adam put up with it and I mean how the rest of us react like we have some God-given right to judge them I'm no better I know that I mean Ramona's right I'm still judging my mom after this whole thing how do you bring up a conversation like that when is the right time to tell the truth? Knock much? Lose the attitude. I just want to talk. I feel like we've been losing touch lately. I know that this is just a normal part of the growing up process for a girl. Mom. Well, honey, it is. I just want to make sure that that's all it is. You haven't been home very much lately. Is everything okay? Yes, no, everything's fine. I'm just hanging out with some new friends. You don't know them. Look, I know I've been giving you a really rough time. I, I'm sorry, I just, I'm just going through some stuff. Anything you wanna talk about? Not right now. Can't wait to get back out on the field next season when my coach says my legs, okay? You will. Just stop obsessing. It'll happen. 
Hey, Eddie and I are thinking about going out to the pier this afternoon. You in? Uh, plans. Again? I know. I'm just really choked between work and summer school and... Yeah, yeah I noticed. You know, you're not the only one that works. I'm starting to think maybe you do have a secret life. Oh, I cannot believe I'm finally getting this stuff. You know, you've never said, what are your plans for college or major, stuff like that? Um, I was pretty much just focused on getting there first. Mm. Don't your parents rag on you about it? Mine put me through a Salem witch trial over choosing my minor. Mm, no, they don't really bug me. I mean, you know, my brother's a smart one. Guess I've just never been that into it. What are we doing? We're spying and hiding. Shh. How about? I never said Kendall was coming. Oh, she be more Oliver Michael right now. Okay, and Michael would be. This guy I'm kind of dating. You're dating that guy. You're dating that guy. Awesome. I said kind of. It's okay. You can say it. She's hot. In an obvious, generic kind of way. I'm sure some guys go for that type. Uh huh. And what's yours? Of the kind with lower standards. <laughs> Look, fantasy crushes, they're cool. We all have them, but I'd rather see you with someone who knows what he's got. that Megan over there? Go ask her out. Girls love confidence. If she shoots you down, what's it gonna hurt? For one thing, it'll totally kill my suspense. Fine, go ahead, make jokes. Screw me for trying to help. Ellie, I'm a geek, not a moron. There's no way she's gonna say yes to a guy like me. Adam, you amaze me. I would kill to be as funny as you are, as smart as you, you smell are. Smell as minty fresh? Yes, that too. Look, liking someone never guarantees they're gonna like you back for anyone. So if she turns you down for the wrong reasons, well, that's her problem. But if those name-calling jerks make you feel like you don't even have a right to ask her, then it's your problem. Don't be your own bully. You're so much better than that. I'm getting really lost with this project. I don't know what we're trying to say anymore, or what we've even learned. Mm, that's up to the magic of editing. You know, fat phobia exists, and it's getting worse. I mean, people are acting like now uh, an extra 20 pounds makes you the sick, disgusting drain on society. Mm-hmm. Good, maybe they'll lay off the french fries. That's not funny. Uh, A, yeah, it is, and B, Nobody likes a self-righteous prom queen. You do realize you aren't actually fat, right? How do I know I won't be someday? You know I've gained like eight pounds since I stopped training. Oh, geez, I'll call the president. Look, it always starts with a few extra pounds, you know? And then it's like, that's it. What? That's where all this irrational fear comes from. You're not going to all of a sudden become a different race or orientation or whatever else you're prejudiced against, but anyone can be fat. You know, maybe too many pregnancies, an injury, aging. Can we get back to this? Why didn't you ask that Ramona girl more questions? Push her. Like, she was about to crack. No, we can't use any of that footage. She was being extremely personal. She confided in me as a friend. Are you kidding me? You really think you two are going to be BFF after this is over? You know, I'm friends with way more types of kids at school than you are. Really? You invite them to your parties? Date them? FYI, being nice to the occasional fatty doesn't actually make you a better person, Allie. It only means you like feeling like one. Well, I want to tell them. George and Ram, I, I don't want to keep lying. You know, I think it'd be really great. We could get on-camera interviews, maybe, and... Not if they bail before we're done. Okay, purge on your own time, Allie. That wasn't the deal. It's 
just like you're getting it. Excellent. Don't forget about that adaptive radiation chronology. Excellent work. The first mark is your test score. The one circled in red is the average you're going into the exam with. I can't look. Hysterical blindness. You do it. Trust me. This you want to see. <gasps> A B plus? Do you know what this means? For starters, it means we're totally going out to celebrate who's with me. Do we really have to go bowling? I'm not a great bowler, and the shoes are kind of germy. I don't like the germs. Oh, relax, Allie. We're here to have fun. I know. We could pull muscle, though. It could be dangerous. It's going to be okay. Yeah, get some shoes. Mm hmm Size? Sorry, I don't speak mute, so you... Eight. Congratulations. Let's do this again. Next. You're really good. Like it. Stop helping And the her. lines, you just want to use them as a guide, OK? OK. Lanes. No way. We were here first. Besides, I've dealt with them before. They're all talk. Hey, dude, seriously, man to man, which question you pushing? Better question, which chromosome you missing? Okay, little boys, the adults are trying to bowl here, so please. Was I talking to you? But don't worry, <laughs> diet. <gasps> you want to do something about a pipe cleaner? Yeah, like go back in time and slap your inbreeding mama. What'd you say about my mom? George, we're going. Yes, right, Lee. Now. Ali, wait! Ali! Allie, it's just us. You don't have to be embarrassed. Seriously, I'm fine. Will you just go away? Allie, what is it? One, with me. I don't understand. What's wrong with you? That... That's a mask. Why are you wearing a mask? Don't freak out. I was going to tell you guys as soon. Tell me now. For a hidden camera project. Documentary. A documentary about what? What it's like to be fat. Just hold up. Just hold on one second, please. George! George, please! So what? Uh... I asked him again at work, and he says, Jim, I've told you twice already. It's a can opener. <laughs> Allie, get a can opener. Does mommy want some bread with that butter? God. Since when are you back on blood pressure meds? When... Since last month, I'm handling it. And why aren't you eating anything lately? Because I can't work out as much. The less you sweat, the less you should eat. It's really not that complicated. Allie. Allie. Hey, it's me again. Look, I know you probably hate me, and I i don't even know what to say to try and make better. But please, give me the chance to try. Please.
I think I should save this for when I am voted prom queen next year. What do you think, Michael? <laughs> I think you should wait till the votes are counted. God, what is with you? I was kidding. You're such a killjoy lately. Kendall, relax. Okay, whatever. I am gonna go find the fun people that you can vote for. You gotta admit, she kinda has a point. You know, I've been a little thrill kill lately. What's up with that? Just a lot of things are coming to a head, and I have my final exam in a few days. All right. But you sound like you're in good shape. You just need to pass, right? I'm aiming just a little higher this time. I wish I could help you, but I can't even do Sudoku. But, um, if it was something else other than studying, like another dude or whatever, you tell me, right? Yes, I, I promise. did you find me? Miraculous thing called a phone book? At least you didn't lie about your real name. There were a lot of things I didn't lie about. Not really interested in spending the energy figuring that all out. Wow, look at you. You're really pretty, huh? Thanks. Not a compliment, just an observation. Here. What's this? Study notes and a mock exam I made for you to help you study. You worked really hard this summer. Bad karma if I bailed on you now, so. Oh, I'd rather bail than let Ramona see me in that stupid suit again, but I need this grade. And... Thank you. So I Googled you. Turns out you're quite the star athlete. How come you never tried as hard at school as you do with sports? School's just not really my thing, I guess. I'm only gonna say this once. You underestimate yourself, Alice. I gotta go meet Ram to study. I'd invite you, but there's the whole wanting you dead thing. Right, that. Can't blame her. I don't. But why don't you blame me? I liked the alley I knew, and I think it was a real you. That matters. If it helps your thesis, I was this close to crushing on you, even though I was totally out of your league. You were not. I still am. Don't kid yourself. Over me. Leave your papers on your desk and walk out quietly.
Don't try to mea culpa your way out of this. I don't care that you're sorry. I don't know. What the... Did you get a good laugh in? Watch my breakdown over beers with your skinny friends? God, no. That's not what this was about, okay? I needed the prize money. I know that sounds horrible and bogus, but it's true. And I thought, I honestly thought I was trying to help to get to the truth. The truth? Really? So you got both sides of the story? Interrogated your family, your friends, yourself? True. You're a joke. You think you can put on fat drag and now you know what it's like to be me? What next? You're gonna put on a lab coat and call yourself a doctor? Hey, I deserve that. On behalf of fat people everywhere, thank you for taking up our cause. I'm sure this has been very difficult for you. Every conversation we had was real, okay? I've never been more real with any other friend in my life. Because you didn't care! What a relief it must have been for you to be friends with the bottom of the barrel. Not have to worry about impressing us with the right clothes, the right words, because we have to take any friends we can get. I never believed that. But I believed you. We talked about stuff that I've never talked about. And you put it on camera. I let you in. Do you have any idea how rare that is for me? I know. I'm so sorry. Forget it. it doesn't matter anymore. You know, I may be a loser. And I may be fat, but at least I'm not a liar. At least I'm not you. Everyone else has the right to have an opinion on it. Like, what is that about? Wow. I mean, I'm seriously impressed. It's great. You know it's not done, though, right? Look, girls, documentaries may be real, but they still need to tell a story, a beginning, a middle, an end. And yours doesn't end so much as fizzle out. Well, we kind of lost the participation of our leads, so we're thinking we're kind of dunsky over here. Not if you want to win this. This is a national competition. It's not homework. You are three quarters there, okay? What you need is something big, you know, a powerful finish. Okay, then I really think you got a shot. Well, these officially have been the four best weeks of my life. Let's split up. Clear our heads. We'll think of something. What is with you? Honey, we need to talk. What is this, an intervention? I was kidding. Let's just call it a conversation between people who love you and are concerned about your behavior. Oh, God, come on, Dad. You've been moody, you're secretive, you're not eating, you're not sleeping, you spend nights studying with new friends that you won't bring home. Honey, if you are experimenting with drugs or you have some kind of an eating disorder... Oh, my God, unbelievable. This is hard for me to even bring up, Allison. We're just doing it because we're worried. Worried? Worried about my health, Mom? Hypocritical much? Hey, that'll be enough of that. Yeah, that will be enough. You know what? I have to go meet a friend because I can't afford to lose anymore. Allison! Hey! Hey. I'm glad you called. I've been feeling really weird about us lately. 
Yeah, I know, me too. Just haven't been myself lately. I guess I'm kind of trying to remember who that was. You need to relax. Live a little. Eddie's having a party this weekend. Michael and I are definitely gonna go, so you should totally come. Oh, well, thanks for the invite. You seem to be spending a lot of time with him lately. Is that a problem? Should it be? Hypothetically, last time I checked, you didn't own him. He's still very much a free agent. Says who? Him. Every time I ask. Look, don't try and make this a competition, okay? You got a history of losing against me. That's because you have a history of taking what's mine. Yeah, I earned that scholarship with or without your stupid leg. I guess we'll never know. What I know is that if I wanted Michael, I could have him. Only I wouldn't be stealing your boyfriend. Because how can I steal what isn't really yours? What's up? Um, I was just wondering if we could take a walk, talk for a second. Yeah, I'm pretty busy. OK, how about tonight? Then too. Did I do something? I don't see how. You haven't really been around enough to do much of anything. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I've had so much studying to do. Save it, Allison. It's one class. Look, I'm not stupid. If you want space, take it. Take all you need. No, I don't want space. Look, can we just take that walk, please? Please? Have you ever, I don't know, gone through something that made you question a lot of stuff? It depends. How do you mean? OK, well, I've had a chance to see something in a different way. And it makes me not like the way that I'm heading. Do you, do you kind of know what I mean? Uh, no, not even a little bit. All right, I don't know about you, but this this whole jock thing, it's not even a, it's not a label anymore. I mean, it's, it's who I am. Or it's who I was. Is this about your leg? Because it's going to be fine. No, no, it's so much more than that. Look, we're trying to look just as far ahead as the next goal, right? The next game. But what about when the game's over, you know? I mean, after varsity, after college, where do we go from there? <sighs> Cereal box? Sorry. It's just serious talk gives me a headache. I know. You know what? You're right. We, we need to have a little bit more fun. Uh, Kendall told me you're going to go to Eddie's party on Saturday. Yeah, not anymore. I got to work. You know, the only one with responsibilities. Mine are done now. I promise I'm gonna get back to my old self. We'll see. Hey. 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 Uh, hey, um, thanks for that stuff you said about asking Megan out. It helped. Oh, finally some good news. So she said yes? Oh no, not even a little. She shot me down. Bad. There are flames. Oh, why are you thanking me? Don't get all conceited. It's just, you were right. I didn't spontaneously combust from rejection. It's... Well, way to go, Romeo. Yeah, because now I know I can ask girls out and not die. Johan and I made a statistical analysis. It's only a matter of time before one of them says yes. I just have to ask, like, all of them. <laughs> well, I've created a monster. Great. Hey, you know, I'm going to start running again this weekend. Maybe you want to come along, keep me company? OK, but if I get too buff, you'll have to help me fight them off. Oh, boy. Mom, I can't stay for dinner. I'm meeting up with Janie. Mom? Shut that off. What are you doing? This is my room, my stuff. This is what you've been hiding? 
You've been parading around in some fat suit making fun of me? Not you. Don't make this about you, okay? I did it for school. Is it true what you said? Are you ashamed of me? I have to meet Janie. It's important. No, Allison, we need to talk. You had no right saying those horrible things. Oh, I had every right because they're true. I know you don't mean that. What do you want me to do, lie? That's all we seem to do in this house. We're so afraid to, to hurt your feelings. I have never asked you to lie. No, you're right. You just binged every time you got upset, keeping us hostage when we don't want to see you sick again. It's not true. True, you want, it, you want the truth? Fine. I hated that you were fatter than all the other moms. I hated the fights I got into at school defending you. I hated how scared I got when you got sick. That's enough. You make me afraid of my own body. Stop you it. know how twisted that is? Look, I might not be ashamed of you, but you should be. Mom, I'm so sorry. I did not mean what I just said. Allie? Mom, open the door. I'm sorry. Allie, what did you do? Nothing. What's just... wrong with Mom? Just get out of here. What's your problem? Why are you always so mean to her? I don't know, OK? I don't know. Look, if you want to give up, just say so. As I have better ways to spend my Friday night, in theory. I'm here, aren't I? Mentally? Not so much. Come on, you're our ideas girl. What's our big ending? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm the right person to do this anymore. Wow. <laughs> That's incredibly unhelpful. OK, I'll start. Let's look at what we've got. We've got you undercover showing how fat kids are treated. And then we have Ramona showing what the long-term effects can be. What are we missing? Why? Because we need to come up with our ending. That's what we're missing. The why. This is exactly what Ramona's been accusing me of. We've only told half the story. This whole time, we've been sitting here watching these people act out their fat hate, and we haven't called them on it and asked them why. Maybe we should. Ask who? Summer school's over. We still have the suit. No, it's not enough, because strangers could easily say that they wouldn't like the real Allie either, fat or skinny. What about people that don't have that excuse? Like, what about my friends? OK. Hang on, Tiger. Simmer down. <laughs> Kendall said Eddie's having that party tonight. It all fits. I show up as Fat Alley, see how they treat me, reveal myself, and then ask why. That's social suicide. Why would you even consider it? <sighs> Let's just say maybe I need to know the answer. Anyways. If if I didn't do it, I would only be protecting me, not them. And I haven't exactly earned that after everything I've done. Hey, uh, is this just some kind of twisted way to punish yourself for being mean to your fat friend? Does it matter? Not as long as I get my footage. OK, okay I'm feeling very 60 minutes right now. This is hot. Right, I'm gonna be covering you with a camera in my purse to get wide shots. Okay. Let's go. So God made refills, right? <laughs> Who invited the whale? Maybe she got lost on the way to the fridge. Mike, 
Michael. <laughs> oh, you are such a tease. You totally said you weren't coming. Yeah, I got off early. Hey, have you seen Allie? I've been trying to call her all night. Okay, look. You know I love her, but she is so fake with her nice all the time routine. I mean, how do you stand it? She's not right for you. <laughs> and who is? Look, for the record, Allie's about the only non-fake girl I know lately. What are you doing out here? We have to go. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Calm down. I've been through this stuff all month. No, not with friends. It's different with friends. It's much, much worse. Uh, this was your idea. I know, and I was wrong. I, I should have listened to you. You were right. I, I thought this would help make up what I did to my mom and Ramona, but it's, it's just, it's making things so much worse. Oh, my God. Is this because your stupid boyfriend is here? It is, isn't it? You don't want pretty boy to know what you look like fat. I'm sick of lying to people that trust me. Hey, how's it going, Tons of Fun? I don't remember inviting you. Come on, baby, Dan. That's I get it. It's very funny. Yeah. I'm really yeah. trying to go. Can you please stop? I'm really going to leave now. Please What's, stop. Please. please stop. Hey. Thank you. My God. Hey, somebody get the forklift. <laughs> Knock it off. You are such a jerk. What? Can't anyone take a joke anymore? A joke? Is that your idea? What? Of a joke? You know, I thought maybe you guys would call me a couple of names or you wouldn't let me in, but this? I may have come here under false pretenses, but you're the ones that should be ashamed. Allie? Oh my God. Okay, this is really weird. What the hell is going on here? An experiment. Most of you failed. I came here to film how a fat girl would get treated by people who liked her before she was fat. Wait, film? Like cameras? Okay, this is getting really lame. I came here with Janie. Neither of us were invited yet. I was the one that got pushed around, called names. Why do you think that is? Eddie? You can't answer, can you? What about the rest of you? I didn't do anything, I just kept laughing. How funny is it now? Okay, I think maybe you should go. I'm sorry for lying, but not for this. Did you get what you needed? Dad, can we not do this now, please? Your mother's been up crying half the night. You want to tell me what the hell happened here? I said some really mean things to her, Dad. I didn't mean to, I swear. It just kept coming out and I couldn't stop. I think I really hurt her. All right, come over here, sit down, Alice. Part of this is my fault. See, I don't like us talking about your mother's old way because she's ashamed of it. Not because I think we should be. Oh, come on, Dad. You're going to tell me you didn't hate it when she was huge. So I remember, I was there too. You guys stopped talking, you stopped hugging. I'm... I was afraid you might leave. Well, those are, you know, hard years on us for a lot of different reasons. It's possible to love somebody and still be furious with them, Allison. Look, you still loved your mom, even at her biggest, didn't you? That's what made me so angry. It's like she would pick food over her health. It, it made me feel like she was choosing it over me. Do you know how alone that made me feel? You know what, honey? That's something you need to tell her. You've never been heavy. You don't understand. Well, I was trying to. I guess that's what this whole documentary thing came from. And what did you learn? Well, that I wasn't really angry with you at all. I was just scared. Angry's easier. Scared of what? 
Uh, lots of things. I guess scared of becoming you and letting food run my life. Or that you would get sick again and this time it... I don't know. I guess I never saw it through your eyes. That's why I'm so glad I did this project. I mean, this whole time I've been so worried about how your weight affected me. I hadn't even thought about how it affected you. And how big of a deal it was that you kept it off. It was difficult. It still is. So why are you letting Adam go through it? You've been there. You know what it's like. Honey, he's not like you. He has my genes. He also has the extra piece of cake you give him after dinner and the fast food you buy him when he's sad and his own pizza Monday nights. Look, Allison, I have never been a size two. And I also had a mother who never forgave me for it. And I'll be damned if I'm ever going to make Adam feel ashamed just because other people think he should be. That's a cop out. Look, I'm not asking you to punish him. I'm asking you to parent him. If he grows up and starts his own bad habits, then fine. But don't teach him yours. It's not fair. OK, here's what I think. I'm your mother, and I owe you a safe home. And that means taking care of my health and Adam's. But beyond where my weight affects my health, you need to show me more respect. I'm a grown woman. I don't need my daughter counting my calories. It's insulting. Deal? Deal. Good. And I'm still not drinking your breakfast shakes. Okay. You don't have to. <laughs> what size? Got a second? You don't have to worry. I'm killing the project. I think that's a mistake. George says it would get a lot of exposure if you won. Lots of people would see it. Yeah, but isn't that the problem? It's not right the way people treat me sometimes. Well, most times. Why should I hide that when I'm not the one doing anything wrong? If I just keep taking it and not saying anything, maybe that means deep down I think I deserve it. You're not the only one who's had a few revelations. I used to think fat people just needed to smile more. I just, I don't know what I'm saying with this movie anymore. Where to begin and just tell the truth. Only if you tell me the truth. Are we ever gonna be friends again? It's complicated. I hate what you did and I don't forgive you. But I'm also not going to forget that you're the first person in a long time to believe that I deserve better. So show it. Win. Make everyone see what it's like. Because I don't want to just take it quietly anymore. Mona, George and I might see a movie this weekend if you want to. I don't think so. But thanks. to test them, but I left having tested myself. Well, that's it so far, but what do you think? I still don't get why you couldn't tell me. I was just lying to so many people. It was, it was easier. That's the real reason? Well, I was a little afraid to let you see me like that. I mean, OK, hypothetically, if I were to all of a sudden just get really fat, would you still like me? You seriously want me to answer that? Yeah. Uh, romantically? No, I don't think I would. Well, thanks for your honesty. Yeah, but you'd also bore me if you were some high-maintenance anemic model. Mm, right. No, I'm serious. Look, I know you don't like labels, but we're jocks, Allie. We're physical and we're competitive, and I really like having that in common with you. OK? Good. Because that stuff you said before, we have that in common, too. I don't want to be the jock that peaked in college any more than you do. OK, I'll make you a deal. Scholarship or not, I will get myself into state somehow, and we will 
not peek there together. Deal. Good. Hey, I'm gonna go meet my friend George to see a movie later. Do you want to get coffee with us after? Wait, hold up. Are you inviting me into your secret side life? Mm, yes. Cool. How's that leg? Better. Why? Well, you've been making me chase you around all summer. You owe me an actual race. On your mark? Wait, 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 wait. What's hotter? If I pretend like I'm actually trying, or if I just go ahead and beat you? <laughs> You're totally cheating! What I learned was about more than weight. It was about identity. Who owns yours? The crowd? Your friends, your parents, or you? A jock, a fat girl. For one summer, I was both in one of the oldest caste systems in America. Because fat or skinny, popular or freak, it all comes down to this. The world will tell you who you are until you tell the world. Too bad if you don't understand So if you want to be with me You'll have to take me as I am